Hey, I'm Brienne, and today we have something a bit unusual for the channel, an animation tutorial. But because a lot of people asked me, and because all of my fellow YouTubers basically pushed me into making a tutorial on it, today we are going to tackle how to create those traced drawings of tech products that I use as animations in the beginning of a lot of my videos, but that technique is also used by Dave2D very often. So without further ado, let's go over to the computer and see how it's done. Okay, so of course you're going to need After Effects and Illustrator to complete this tutorial. So a Creative Cloud subscription would be pretty nice. Though of course you can also just use the free trial if you just want to follow along with the tutorial. Now today we are going to create this animation. Looks pretty cool, right? It's not going to be that advanced, so you should be able to follow along fine, even if you don't have a lot of experience with After Effects or Illustrator. But now we are going to start by opening up Adobe Illustrator. I have some files here that I'm going to use throughout the project. You're going to find all of these files at a Google Drive download in the video description below. In that Google Drive download, you're also going to find all of the project files that we're going to be creating today. Now let's start by dragging in an image of the object that we want to trace. It should have the front and the back of the object because we want to create a 2D outline, so a 3D image is not really going to help you with tracing. We're going to scale this up a bit. Let's make this a bit smaller, about 50%. And drag it into the center. Now we're going to grab our rectangle tool, create a round rectangle. Let's just click here and then just try to trace all of the important features of the device. So of course we only want the outlines. I like to take about a stroke of nine, that should be fine. Then we're going to drag this in a bit and the corners, I'm going to drag those in a bit too. So now we have the outline of our Galaxy S9 we're going to duplicate this. Just hit Control C and Control V on your keyboard. And then we're just going to drag this down a bit in order to get the screen outlines. So if I now expand my layers here and remove this, you can see this is what we just outlined. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit. 150, go up here. And we're now going to get these features up here. Get the rectangle tool. This one we want to have without a stroke and with a solid fill. So now we're going to drag this out. And we want the corners to be as big as they can. And this of course also has to be in the center. You can see this line on the screen. That means that it's centered within the frame of the phone. Of course, for that you want to have your guides on, your smart guides. You have to kind of find a balance between it looking good and actually representing the real device. So now we're just left with the buttons on the side of the phone. For that we're also going to take the rectangle with a fill. I like to grab them off the other side of the frame. So we're going to now drag this to over here and see if I can use. So you can see that it's the exact same height as on the other side. Now, I think I'm going to make this a bit smaller, maybe to 11 about. And there we have a first button. Just copy this, control V, there we have our second buttons for the other side. That is going to be the volume rocker and the Bixby button. So with that we basically have a frame already done. If I now remove this you can see you can basically tell that that is a Galaxy S9 even though it doesn't have a lot of features. So we're now going to select this, all of it, and hit copy and insert on our keyboard again. 
Now this part, we want object transform and we want to reflect it 90 degree vertical and that basically mirrored our phone to the other side so that now we have the buttons in the right place for the back side. Now we're going to move this to be around the center. This was pretty good already. So of course we're going to remove all of these features of the front of the phone from the back because this will turn into our backside. Now let's trace the camera. Of course for this we want to go back to disable the fill and back to our stroke with stroke of 9. So now we're basically done with tracing. The only thing left is the logo here on the back. Now for that I downloaded a logo vector file from the internet. I don't really know how to trace logos very well, so you can just use a perfect vector from the internet and save yourself some time. So now we're done tracing it and you can see that if you've seen a Galaxy S9 before, this basically looks like one even though the drawing isn't that advanced. And tech products are usually pretty easy to trace this way, just with the rectangle tool, because they're pretty symmetrical. Now we're going to save this, we're going to remove the back side here. Just hit delete on your keyboard and save this as the front. And then we're going to go back, remove this, and save this as the back side so that you have two distinct files for the front and the back of your phone. So within After Effects, you're going to create a new composition. Just name it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. And then with our new composition here, we're going to drag in our front and back pieces of the phone that we just created. Then we're just going to create a background, just double click the rectangle tool that creates a rectangle with the size of your composition. Now we're first going to animate our phone. So we're going to grab our front here, move this in here, and then we're going to go to transform, take this down a bit, maybe about 75%. And what we now want to do is right click this and select create shapes from vector layer. This is one of the most important things, because it creates a native After Effects shape layer from the vector that we created before in Illustrator. That just saves you from creating all of this here in After Effects. So now we're going to hit Ctrl Alt Position 1 on our keyboard to center the anchor point. And then we're going to maybe move this to down a bit, to the side a bit. And now we're going to add an effect to this that is called Trim Paths. Select here, Trim Paths. And we're going to go to about a second and set the end to zero. Set a keyframe, go to about two, put the end to 100. Select these two keyframes, hit Easy Ease and then just go to your graph editor over here. You should have your speed graph and your magnet selected. And then just drag these in a bit to make this a bit faster. So now we have the contours of our Galaxy S9 animating in. Now what we want is we also want to show the back of the phone. So we're now going to drag in the back of course, we're also going to create shape layers right here. Just remove this. And of course, we want this to be also at 75%. Center the anchor point again with Control, Alt, and Position 1. Then just copy this to have it in the same place. I'm just going to drag this in, drag this to over here. So now it changes from the front to the back. But we don't really want this to be this easy. So for that, there's an effect that you can use with a screen glitch. That's just some stock footage of a screen glitch that you can download online. I'll have this one down in the Google Drive folder that I'll link below. And 
We're now going to drag this on top of our composition here, hide it, and then we're going to create a new adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. And to this, we're going to apply an effect under distort. It's called displacement map. We're going to drag this on here. And as our displacement map layer, we're going to select the screen glitch that we inserted before. You can already see how this is glitching right here. Now we're going to drag our layer in a bit so that it's only visible for the amount of time we want to have a transition between the two layers. Yeah, about four frames should be fine. So now you can see that it kind of glitches to the back of the phone. That's that glitch transition. And now a few seconds later, we want to go to our back outlines, go to add, trim paths, select this, go to our end, and then get this back to zero. Again, make these easy ease and drag these in a bit in your graph editor. So now what we have is the phone animating in, glitching and animating out. So what you could use this for, for example, is as a verdict slide in your videos, where if you say all of your bullet points, what you like and didn't like about the product, you could just put these on the side and then have this animation. Or you could of course also use it as an intro animation by moving it around a bit. That's what I usually do. But that's just this pretty simple animation. Of course, you could add all of the small bits and pieces that I added for the preview in the beginning, but this is basically the core of the animation. But that's basically it. Wasn't that hard after all. It's really not as advanced as it looks in the beginning. There are just some small tricks that make this all work. Of course, I hope that you can make use of some of the techniques that I showed you in this video. And in case you want me to do other animation tutorials, like tracked callouts for device names or specs, for example, just let me know down in the comments below. In case you enjoyed this video, you know which buttons to press, and don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter. I'm Brian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.